Hello and welcome to another special episode of PC Building Simulator. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to easily overclock your graphics card to help you get the most money possible when building and selling PCs on PC Bay. Again, same as last time, this is by no means a comprehensive overclocking tutorial and I'm not going for maximum 3D Mark scores or trying to set any records here. If you're looking for that type of tutorial, there are plenty out there that will show you how to properly bend graphics cards in PC Building Simulator when looking to set records. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say bending a graphics card, then this tutorial may be for you. Notice again that I'm not in free build mode, I am in career mode, because I want this to be as real of a scenario as possible. I am going to list this PC on PC Bay. Once I'm done overclocking it, I already have built this system. It's the same one I used in the last video where we talked about overclocking CPUs. Uh, I do like to start with the CPU first to make sure it's stable before I move on to the graphics card. So we overclocked this CPU in the last episode and we're ready to move on to overclocking the graphics card. So let's get started. So I'm going to hop right over here because I want to show you guys some software that you're going to need. Um, you will need OCCT. You also needed it for overclocking the CPU. You'll need it again for the graphics card. You need GPU tuner and you need a 3D Mark Advanced Edition. Okay, so let's open up our GPU tuner. This is the easiest way to do it. You take core voltage, max it out. It doesn't hurt anything. You're not going to melt a graphics card by having the core voltage all the way up. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't even happen in real life. Uh, I've got a RTX 2070 Super in my PC, my real PC, and my core voltage stays maxed all the time. Go watch J's Two Cents or something. He talks about doing it as well. It doesn't hurt anything. So I know there's, there's mathematical ways to figure out where to start with a core clock. I like to just take a guess. Uh, most graphics cards in this game can easily, well, NVIDIA graphics cards. I don't do a whole lot with the AMD graphics cards, the Radeon stuff. They don't overclock that well, but you can try it. I mean, give it a shot. Um, most of the NVIDIA graphics cards will at least hit uh, 20, 50 megahertz on the core clock. Uh, also, in this game, I don't really mess with the memory clock because... There's plenty of times that I can turn the memory clock up one megahertz and it causes a blue screen. So I don't know if that's if that's something weird with the coding of this game or what, but I, I honestly just don't mess with memory clock. So I'm going to start at 2050 and I'm going to continue working my way up and we're going to go through the process together. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so if you need to fast forward, then feel free. But I'm going to start at 2050. We'll see if we blue screen. If we don't, we'll keep bumping up um, the core clock intervals until we do get a blue screen and then we'll back it back off. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna open up OCCT. We can come down here and go over to the GPU tab. So here's the CPU tab. Here's, we've overclocked our CPU as far as it would go uh, with the current setup we have. But here's, here's our overclock stuff on this GPU. So we're going to go ahead and turn OCCT on. We'll let it run. It's 30 seconds. And we will see if we blue screen. Just like the CPUs, as I talked about in the last uh, special episode, when we overclock the CPU, most of the CPUs in this game can go up to about 100C. Uh, it's about the same with GPUs. Uh, they can do about 100C before you're going to hit a blue screen. So this looks like it's stable. We're stable at 85. So I think we can we can bump this up a good bit. So let's go up to, uh, well, let's go to 21. Let's see what happens at 21. I feel like that's pretty, that's the max. That's the max on this. This may have not have been a good card because this is a three fan card. This thing might stay ice cold. But let's go ahead and apply this. I'm going to turn OCCT on. I'm hoping it'll blue screen so that I can show you guys what happens. There we go, okay, so we got a blue screen. So we're gonna push P, turn it off, turn it back on. 
We're going to open up our GPU tuner again. Let's move that out of the way. Let's open OCCT back up and move it over here. So let's back off. So we were at 2050. So let's go to 2060. And we'll apply that. Let's run OCCT again. So this is how I normally do this. When I step away during my videos, this is what I'm normally doing. I step away, I just slowly start overclocking. So we're already up to 92.27C. So we're getting pretty close. We may be able to go to 2070. Okay. So let's try 2070. Let's see what happens there. And we'll hit apply and then we turn OCCT back on. Oh, there we go. We've blue screen. So let's push P to power it down and push P to turn it back on. We will open up our GPU tuner again. We will open up OCCT again. And let's back this off to 2065. We'll hit apply and then we'll turn OCCT back on. So 95. So this is probably, we could probably go up a megahertz or two. Um, but I find that it doesn't really make that big of a difference in terms of what the PC is worth on PC Bay when it's done. So I'm going to leave it at 2065 and I'm not even going to touch the memory clock because I just, I don't see the need to. We, you know what? Let's try it. Let's go, let's go up. Um, let's try 50. We'll hit apply. I have a feeling it's probably going to blue screen. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. So we'll power it down, power it back on. And honestly, I'm just going to reset. I'm just going to reset the memory clock back to zero. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So once I've done that and once we know everything's stable, which we do know this is, this is stable at this point, then we need to run 3D Mark to make sure that it, whoa, make sure that it's fully stable. So I backed out and I forgot to show this. I backed out to see what the resale value is. So the resale value right now with all these components and it's not taking any of the overclock into account yet because it doesn't do that until you run 3D Mark. But right now we are at $1,340. So let's fire up 3D Mark. We're going to sit here and watch it together. I usually skip this. So you guys don't have to watch it. We're going to watch it together. We're getting pretty good FPS out of this CPU. 41.1 looks about where it might. Oh, it's going to go up a little more. 41.2. And if the CPU during that test, if the CPU is messing up or there's any kind of throttling, you'll notice that the CPU tests in 3D Mark will stutter even in the game it'll stutter and that's when you know you need to go work with your cpu overclock because it's obviously not as stable as you thought it was and all of this looks good um i haven't during the graphics card portion i haven't ever seen it do any kind of like artifacting or anything that you would normally see in real life but I also don't push these graphics cards very far. I just try to get a decent overclock so that I can get the maximum amount of money. So we haven't crashed yet. We haven't blue screened. I think we're going to be good to go here. There we go. So we got a score of 10,918. That's pretty good with a 2070 Super. So let's see, now we're up to $3,820 for the resale value. 
So definitely a boost. Even if you don't overclock your stuff, always make sure if you're going to sell stuff on PC Bay, at least run a 3D Mark test because the 3D Mark test is what will boost that resale value. Without running the 3D Mark test, the game just takes what you've got in the system and what it says it's worth, and that's what it lists the resale value at. So always run a 3D Mark test. This has been the very easy way to overclock a graphics card. This thing is ready for PC Bay. I'll probably get it listed on there. I'm going to end the episode here. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments. I'll try to get around to them. I'll try to answer them for you guys. If it's over my head, I can't make any promises. <laughs> if you ask stuff that's that I just don't know how to answer. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.